Welcome back. Marin Rogers has joined me. Good to see you, Marin. Thank you, as always. Yes, and so we're growing, growing, growing in Bluffton, so that means obviously our healthcare needs are growing too. So St. Joseph's is doing something about that with their new campus. Tell us about it. Yes, so St. Joseph's Candler is really on the forefront of our community and watching and knowing what our needs are. I think it's pretty neat that they've, you know, d taken a dive right into our community. They are building a 40,000 square foot place right in the heart of Bluffton, Greater Bluffton actually, off of Buckwalter in Buckwalter Place. And the neat thing about this is they are going to save patients and residents from driving all the way to Savannah with this new campus. And would you like to hear what they're going to offer there? I very much would. So it is going to be a regional oncology center. So of course, very needed. I hate to say it, but every time you hear somebody that gets sick, they have cancer, the big C. But St. Joseph Candler is here to help battle that, take care of our residents, and offer these tremendous services. And they're going to also employ more than 60 employees just at the start of this. So this is going to grow more and more as Bluffton grows. Absolutely. And as you said, what an amazing thing to take that strain of having to drive all the way to Savannah off of those patients. So that's fantastic. Yes. So moving on to something a little more fun, and that is uh, boating here in the Low Country is a big deal, but there are some new things we have to know about registration. What are those? Yes, there was a state law that was passed. So beginning right now in 2020, your boat will need to be registered. You pay those taxes, but also you need to register your boat annually now instead of every three years. So watch out for that. SCDNR is really going to be tracking those boats when you put them in the water. We've had a beautiful January, so boats might be in there a few months earlier than right. not, and it only costs $10. So let's keep it up and get those boats registered. Yeah, so that is a big difference though, annually versus every three years. So yes. make sure you're watching that. <laughs> yes, and you can go right to our courthouse and pay those and, and take care of them and they'll be there to answer questions from a county level too as well. So I just wanted to point that out. Perfect, well thank you Marin, for keeping us informed as always and it's good to see you. Thanks Betsy.